Welcome back to Nina Renee Knows. Today we are going to go over case statements. I'm going to start with a simple select. So let's do select cystate from dual. Let's run this and there's our output. If you wanted to add some conditions to your output, you could do that by using a case statement. So on the next line, I'm going to enter in case when cystate is less than the first day of March. Now I need to give it a condition. So if the cyst date is less than the 1st of March, then I want the output to say on track. And now I need to close the case statement. So you type in end as and then give the column a name. So I'm going to call this one status. Okay, so in the output you see that status is left null because the cyst date, our date for today, does not satisfy the conditions that we set. The cyst date today is March 31st, but we only put a condition in for if the date is less than March 1st. And the date is less, not less than March 1st, so it doesn't know what to put, so it leaves it null. To satisfy that, we are going to add a line and then add an else statement for when the cyst date is not less than March 1st. Okay, here we go. So type in else, else, and then what we want the output to say if the cyst date is not less than March 1st. So for this example, if the cyst date is not less than March 1st, then I want it to output past due. Let's run it. And you see now our status says past due because today's date now I'm in April 1st because it's a bit late. Today's date is not less than March 1st, so now we have the status as past due. The components of a case statement are very simple. You just need a case when an expression exists, then you want it to say what. If it doesn't exist, then you want it to say this. And then you end as and then give the column a name. It's very simple. Try to use a case statement in your own queries. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will reply and I will see you next Sunday.